This snowmobile trek into the mountains of southern Vermont was hardly a pleasure trip. We're at Aeolus Cave. Be very careful. Where 100,000 bats have hibernated each winter for 10,000 years. But these wildlife researchers are terrified about what they'll find. Oh my God. That's worse than last year. At the cave mouth alone, we discovered thousands of dead bats. Many others that should be hibernating deep inside are flying off or crawling about in a futile effort to find food, starving to death in the bitter cold. These bats are, are just running out of energy and they're trying to stay warm as they can at the very last stages of their lives. Two years ago, biologists first noticed a strange white fungus growing around the snouts of affected bats. They called it white nose syndrome. What's worrisome for researchers is how fast this phenomenon is spreading. It was discovered just two years ago in a handful of caves in New York. Last year it was found in four states and this winter four more from as far south as West Virginia to as far west as Pennsylvania. Yet lab tests indicate that the fungus itself may not be what's killing the bats. What is certain is that the bat's hibernating body weight is often far too low. 6.4. Perhaps why they're waking up and flying out into the dead of winter. Yeah, one can assume these bats are start dying of starvation, but really what is the cause of that? We need to figure out what is killing these bats. Bats, love them or hate them, are voracious eaters of insects and moths. Fewer bats mean more bugs, and that can mean more pesticides on crops, higher prices for tomatoes or hay, and potentially more cases of insect-borne diseases like West Nile virus. Losing our bats, I like to say, is like pulling out the steel beam from under a bridge. At some point, it's likely all going to collapse on you. It's a race against time. Half a million bats may die this year. Some specimens here are being collected solely to archive their DNA, since entire species are at risk. Daniel Seberg, CBS News, Dorset, Vermont.